fucking load of shit. And then yep. I studied the hell out of him. I found his mentor. Yep. And like saw their testimonial interview and then like I fucking studied the shit. <laughs> You're out like of fucking him. Because I'd already had a mentor before this. Yeah. Okay. And like it's not that my mentor before the one I have currently was like shit he's a great mentor I still talk to him his yep. name's um, his name's Jack he's from Melbourne he used to own a company called Check Six okay. and that was like the first ad I ever saw about like escaping the rat race 9 to yeah, 5 yeah. he was like my ticket away you yep. know when I was like I don't know it was in 2018 you're like this is it I was like this, I'm gonna, this is where I'm gonna I, make it this and I studied it. the fuck out of him too I was yep. like oh he owns Check Six and I remember seeing like ads on Facebook for Check Six and I could yep. never afford that shit because it was so expensive bro. yeah and I was, but it was good quality, you know. I was like, yeah. I want that for me, though. Like, I want to own something like that. Man. Know? But yeah, all this other shit happened. That's the seed. Yeah. That was the seed. That was the thing, you know. Yep. It's just like, but yeah, you've got to, patience, man. Patience. Like, you just can't young blokes, bro. Patience. Have patience. But everyone wants everything yesterday. <laughs> yeah. But they don't want to put in the work. <laughs> no. Like, they, they don't want to put you in gotta, the work to get it. you got to sacrifice, man. Yep. I'd love to go out with the boys every day and skate. Yep. I can't. Yeah, that's because right. In my head, I'm like, yeah, I could dedicate three hours to skating. Mm-hmm. Or I could de- dedicate three hours to grinding, and I'll skate. You get more hour. done on a computer in three hours than yeah. you can at the skate park. Yeah, I mean, I, I still skate as much as I can. I'm still, like, I'm recovering from injury now. Though. Yep. So, like, you know, 20 LCL and stuff, I really just can't afford <sighs> to ruin my ankle any more than it's no, been. No way. Like, like, I've torn it twice or three times this year. I've still got to pick up my MRI results, but... Painful. Oh, it's, bro, I'm in constant pain all the time. But like me and my mum have got this weird thing. I don't know if it's like a like an energy thing or some shit, like some <laughs> weird mystic shit. Yep. But her ankle always gets real sore before it rains. Yeah, right. And like, cause it's my ankle's fucked as well. Like hers is ruined as well. She's got back problems in it. Yep. And I'm like, I'm always like, mum, me fucking ankle hurts. She's like, yeah, I know. So is mine. It's gonna rain. Yeah. You know. So it's just like a thing we've started. But yeah. But yeah, just keep smashing vault tyrants, bro. Hopefully yeah. The best. You'll be right. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's jump. Uh, we kind of skipped it before. Cars. cars jump back to cars. Right. Yes. Let's so you got the Lancer. I've got the Lancer. It's just a stock fucking, I don't know, 16 valve CE Lancer. 1.8. 1.8? 1.6? I have no idea, bro. Whatever it is. I haven't even looked. I've looked under the bolt <laughs> once. Yeah, right. Since I bought it, yeah. Just drive the fucking thing. Just fang it, bro. Mad. Fill it up with oil every now and then. Your, uh, what do you got? Uh, is it VB? It's a 1979 VB Commodore. Fuck yeah. It's a SLE. Nice. But... I mean, they're all the same with yep. without the parts and shit on them. It's just yeah, I think mine's an SLE. Yeah, but I've had different three trim, different but stuff. Yeah, yeah, just different trim and shit. But yep. I mean, at the end of the day, it's gonna be full custom. Anyway. That's right. A lot of people had hate me for it because they're like, <laughs> you know, restore it back to it. I couldn't give a fuck. Yeah, you know, that's like right. I've I've got it. It's not owing me anything. Yep. And yeah, I've had the I've had A V B. So I've had this one for about oh, about a year and a half, I'd say. Yep. But I had. Um, Another 79 VB when I was 18, 19. Yep. Me and the ex ended up getting rid of it at the time because we just didn't have the money for it. Didn't have the funds to do it. Um, you know, so we thought it'd be best to, to give it an opportunity to be built elsewhere. It ended up yep. getting crushed anyway. Yeah, right. Um, the bloke and Porter crushed it. And then I ended, we ended up splitting up part ways and things like that. I ended up buying another one. Pretty much soon after, yeah. so I was like, "Fuck this, I'm getting another one. one." You know. Yep. Um. So I bought one. It was a it was a running car, full of rust, but it was running. Yep. It was just had a two o. Oh, what do they come with? One two o two. So two o two. Yeah, they come with two o two carby, shot carby, no brakes. Yeah. Like you should see me and my mate Dale <laughs> trying to get it off into the off the trailer, because I live on a hill. Yep. So we had to go around the, like the corner, and um take it off the trailer and then um try and fucking like just get it down. Smack it through the intersection and then just hook it in the driveway and hope for the best. <laughs> and uh, lucky we Smoke didn't fucking uh, go through mum's window. Go through the house. But yeah, no, we got it in there. I had that for not even, I reckon, six months. And then my uncle had a, a mate at the time, yep. had one, a shell. It had a motor, but I only bought the shell of yep. the car. So I sold that. Com- I ripped all the chrome and all the good bits and that off kept that car to kit for the other one because they didn't yep. have any chrome. Ended up, I don't know how, but I, I've got like two sets of chrome or something now. <laughs> nice. But I mean, some parts, bits and pieces are bent, so I've got to get them all fixed. But yeah, um, gave that to one of my uncle's other mates because he needed like um, an in, a full interior. Yeah. That had a full interior. I already had an interior in the other one. Yeah. Um, which was the same as my uncle's seventy nine BB. Um, it's ruined now because I had nowhere to put it. So yeah. But it needed to be redone restored. anyway, so I'll get it restored when yep. when the time's right. But then, yeah, bought that one. It was sort of half-half. I mean, it's got a bit of surface rust now, but 
Um, my mate Dale's getting his painted soon, I think, and he said um, that he's going to help me like do the rust repairs and bad. things like that. And hopefully. Bad rust or just surface no, rust no, stuff? No, 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 just surface rust. There's yep. a couple of... Excuse me. There's a couple of pieces that have been like patched up, but they haven't been scrubbed back. Like, they've been welded yep. up and filled and gapped and whatever else, but they haven't been um, okay. like smoothed back. So, yep. And there's one little piece that's been cut out. There's yep. a piece in the door that needs to be cut out and redone, but... Apart from that, it's like it's very very straight for what it is. And, nice um, for an old girl. Yeah, straight for an old girl. Yeah, straight for an old girl. <laughs> Mine was fucked, eh? Yeah, <laughs> it had a, it originally that car had a three hundred eight in it. Nice out of a VL. Yeah, had a like a three hundred eight black motor or something. Yeah, and um, I don't I've never ever seen like what it used to. I know it used to be a, it was a cream coloured car I think. Yeah, and then it went burgundy or it was burgundy slash cream. Yeah, but this one would be going Atlantis blue. My uncle had a 79 BB when I was a kid. Nice. I never went in it, but I remember that was what sparked the whole... Like, I've always been infatuated by cars. Yeah. My dad had a HT, Kingswood, yep. that he built a freeway. Waggett's Engineering, I don't know if they're around anymore, Waggett's Engineering built his motor, never even sold the car. Yeah, right. And it ended up getting sold to a bloke out in Liverpool and put in a Toronto, apparently it fucking screamed ass. <laughs> it, was a, it was a 30... It was a 307 yep. Chev. Yeah. Had like... um. All the shit on it, like yep. it had been all the, fruit. all the all the I don't know what cam it had in it, but I remember it had. He always told me this. He, he goes, it had solid fucking lifters on it. It had a holly semi high rise or some shit. Yep. It had a big predator carby like predator Old carby school. is just like a big square, square with two row. fucking trap doors just yeah, over that monsters. <laughs> and it had like a just a nice air clean. I remember they have having the motor on the stand as a kid. I used to throw shit down the piston blocks and that because yep. when they sold it, they had to yeah. pull it apart and it was like all shit like thrown <laughs> down in the piston. I can't remember what the fuck oh, they yeah. are on the Predators. I don't know if it's Eagle or Phoenix or something. They yeah, it's like a bird, bird on, on the them. front. Yeah. I was going to get a Predator car before mine, yeah. but I don't know. They're ridiculous, yeah. man. I had a, a mate of mine. I get one. A mate of mine I used to fuck with pre- pretty heavy back in the day. Haven't spoken to him for a long time. Good can't just different, yeah, different yeah. ways, you know. It happens in life. Go different ways. But his old man had a VH Charger, a Valiant. Oh, VH Valiant. VH or VJ. Or VG. Whichever one it is. Two-door charger. It yeah. was a Valiant charger. Your Valiant charger, Two-door yeah. Two-door coupe. I think they're a BG. Yeah, yeah, but that had a... Not sure. I'm pretty sure it was just a 360 cube small block in it. But he had a Predator on that. And that thing yeah. was ridiculous. It just used to paint lines up. Every yeah, time he yeah. used to drive it, or he used to come over and see his son. He used to come see my mate. He'd just paint lines down the street. Yeah. It was fucking mad. I remember being at his house and he had the hose in the fucking carby just cleaning the carbon off the pistons. I was just like, "Yeah, I'm like, what are you fucking doing, man? He goes, oh, I loves it. And just hold... Yeah. And it just fucking water and black shit coming out the exhaust. I'm like, fucking hell. Yeah. But that's what I remember. The fucking big predator sitting on top of the thing. Yeah, the they're just monster. big square trapdoors, man. Yeah, man. Like, they just got two flaps yep. and they just... That's it. Yeah. But... But my issue is I don't know what I'm going to put in the car because I really want to put a 468 big block in it, but mm. the motor is that heavy and then yep. I have to get it fucking try and get it engine in shit. LS Pro, it's what everyone puts in Commodores. No, I'm not putting <laughs> LS in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a sin. Yeah. But, but no, nah, like respect the LS boys, but you just can fucking have that. Yeah. Okay. But um, I just I love, I was always wanted Jay-Z. to get a 355 or 383 Fuck in the yeah. car. Because my uncle's originally... I, I found the original owner of the car. Fuck. His wife messaged me on Facebook and she's like, was your uncle happen to be Mars by any chance? Because I was yeah, looking right. for the car at the time. Yeah. His original one, never found it. Um, hasn't been registered since 1995. Like, Fuck. I've, I've only got a few photos. Of, a shed I fucking broke into his old house that was going to get knocked down <laughs> to try and find, like, you know... To find any info on it. Yeah. You know? And um, it was funny, that house was going to get condemned. It's out in Menangle Road near yeah. Campbelltown. Yeah. And I was going to pretty much get knocked down like oh, we broke in there there's no one living in there there's been yep. people squatting in that in there but I remember he had like all these magazines there was heaps of porno mags and shit <laughs> but there was just this big stack of fucking skate mags bro and I remember yeah, right. like those those were his like I remember that 100% yep. so I took them nice and got them at home he's got like a Starman comic book I think it is I've never even seen like the DC yeah, right. comic but a couple of things but yeah I never ever found the car so that's why I bought a yep. shell but yeah I found the original owner and she's like oh you know how was your uncle was like oh unfortunately he passed away like they hadn't seen him in since he bought the car yeah. obviously you know yeah. like 20 years ago yeah 
And um, I spoke to her husband, and he's like, yeah, you know, I built the car. We bought it off our mum, built it up, painted it Atlantis blue. He gave me original photos of the car, and fuck, it was a 253 with a four-speed box and yep. all this other shit, you know. That's mad. And um, so I've got the original specs of the of car the that car, my yeah. uncle's written down on the back of a fucking... Mad. That's cool. A, um, you know, I really need to That's try cool and get that. Have yeah. Laminated or laminated framed or something. Because it's written in pencil, so yeah. it's like... But yeah, he's he had his messy handwriting. I've got messy Get handwriting. Get it framed too. up. But yeah, I found yeah. you know all that sort of stuff, and I just thought you know like I'd love to to build a car that represents like like a tribute to his life, yep. but also so I can raise money for suicide awareness, and yep. suicide prevention, not That's only it. for men but for women as well. Yeah, you know, and um, that's the only way I'm ever going to get closure. Like I think when it comes to suicide and stuff like that, it's it's. Obviously, how you take it, there's obviously going right. to be a lot of questions unanswered and things like that. I've yep. dealt with it for years. I've blamed myself for years. I don't blame myself anymore. Yep. You know, I know he's in a better place. I pray that he's in a better place. I pray that he found peace. You know, at the end of the day, my duty here is to help the people going through that. That's, that's how right. I felt. You know, that's like I was that stubborn prick when I was younger. Yep. And then, you know, like I didn't talk to my uncle up until, you know, he passed away. Like, Things like that, you know, we're very distant. He died in Cairns. He was from here, but he was yeah. living up in Cairns. He died up in there. And, um, Fuck. you know, it makes you think. It makes you really evaluate your life and really cherish people around That's you. Right. And that, you know, and that, that car, like, I remember there was this one time, bro, it still gets me emotional thinking about it. Like, we went to summon us, my mates, and um, there was this fucking blue, Atlantis blue VB there. And it looked yep. exactly like his. And I just started fucking Hard drop. in tears, man. Yeah. You know, I was like, Fuck. You know, and it, I was Great, like, I yeah. need to get one for myself. I have to fucking... It's, have to a, it's it. a must. I don't care how many years it takes me, yep. but I have to have VB Commodore 79 it. model. Got to do it. If I can't find his, I want my own and I want to dedicate to him. Yeah. Because that's, that's the only way I'm going to get closure. Fuck and, yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean... Fucking you're in the way. Hopefully praying everything goes Man. well, you know, with the skate brand and, you know, yep. everything in between. Like, You don't need to hope and pray for it to go well, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's do, it is. But it's it, fucking you know, happening. You know, it's happening for you, man. I, n- I never realised that my life would get to this point. Yeah. You know, but when you start believing in it, your thoughts become actions, your actions become, yep. you know, real in a real life sense, I think that... But you got to believe. Main, you got to believe. That's 100%. the fucking... 100%. You have to... In here, in here, in yep. here, it's, it's mind over matter every yep. time. You know, there's always going to be that negative thought. There's always going to... If you feed into it, that's when it wins. Yes, If you right. say to that negative thought, I- I- even the sleep demon, you know, yeah. like when you don't yep. want to get out of bed, you're like, yep. oh, I don't get to bed, you know. Get up. Just fucking get up, man. Yeah, get up and get day, it done. You might not live for tomorrow. That's right. You know? You've been there. It's not fun. Yeah. Yeah. Why? It's crazy. I uh, I had... My first car was a VH SLA. Yeah, right. So 202, still auto. But I uh, ended up taking the standard carby off, put a different intake on it, had a 350 Holly on it, um, welded the diff... Had the exhaust out the side in front of yeah. the front wheels. Just used to do skids everywhere. Had an LSD in it. I put a, I put a limo slip in it. Yeah. Just used to do skids everywhere. I never, uh, I didn't blow it up. I just got tired of it to just having yeah. no horsepower. So it's just yeah, a fucking yeah. two hundred two. Especially like, trying to spin two wheels. <laughs> fucking didn't yeah. like it. That's like me and my mate Dale. We both had VLs when we were on our L plates. Mad. And we both crashed them. Yeah, right. Well, he got, he got T-bone. I crashed mine. I uh. Fu- Oh, I ended up putting a VN V6 into it. Ah, uh, yeah. So I had a couple of VNs as well. Brought a VN off a mate for 150 bucks. Put it in the garage. Yeah. Pulled the cross member motor and gearbox and straight, just, straight out, straight in. That's the best thing I like about Free, 300 bucks to get it wired up. Turn the key. Let's skid. Yeah. That's <laughs> fucking yeah. mad. Uh, I think that's the best thing about Commodores. Like, if you if you want to put a you know a five liter in an old Commodore, you can. Tease his piss. You know, like there's not a lot of things. Like, and especially with people like Dale around me, like Dale and his family, yep. they they know a lot about cars, especially yep. Holden's. His old man's got a blown HT 544. Oh, no, 454? Okay. 544. 454, I think it is. You know yeah. one recently? Is that the one you were in? The red one, yeah. 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 That thing is just... I've that seen was that supposed and I'm to like, be my, fuck yes. That was supposed to be my wedding car. Nice. And I never got to go in it until like about a year ago. Yeah. And he, he's like, hey, we're going out, you know, yep. you want to come? And I was like, I dropped everything fuck I was yes. doing. I fucking know if I'm sitting in that yep. car, like, let's go. And then we took my cousin to the formal in it and she, she loved it. So, That's but cool. yeah, me and Dale both have VBs. Like, yep. it was just our, like, we're best mates. We've got the same project. Mad. Car. And he's like, you know, I'm getting more payments soon. What mode are you going to put in yours? And yeah, like, man. It's always been this thing. We've been waiting for so long to have the opportunity. So, that's cool. Um, really, really. Because we're getting it done together. Yeah. That's mad. 
Yeah, but we always he always comes over. We always talk about you know can't wait to go cruising in our Bad. cars and shit. You know, it's, it's simple life shit. You yep. know, like yep. it takes a lot to get cars like that, especially like his his old man. Really, really like he worked real fucking hard for his. Yeah. You know, and he's had it for a really long time, and um, they ain't cheap. Especially that to get it to get it like that. Yeah, yeah his, his people his don't realize nice it costs a lot of fucking too. money. Like I think his yeah is one of the nicest like old Holdens that yep. I've ever ever seen like I, and I and I love Monaros and Kingswoods yep. but yeah for me it was the VB Commodore I had to Fuck be yeah. I don't know it was like because I had a VL and I know that I, I sold my VL because I crashed it like yep. I didn't crash it bad <laughs> I crashed it bad enough to not want to look at it and then um, yeah. sold it to someone two weeks later come out it was a Calais Fuck. mock up Calais <laughs> Turbo <laughs> Yeah, and I, I messaged him last night actually because I'm I'm fucking still trying to buy it back. I had a V2 yeah, right. Club Sport 345 Stroker on me red peas. Nice. And I had like about ten grand saved up, and I said, I'll give you like you want to swap buy it back. No, with it. No, yeah, right. No. And I was like, <laughs> fuck, I just want me fucking VL back. Can't. Want it back? <laughs> I, my dad bought me that car. I'm not gonna lie, my dad bought me that car for yep. my 18th. Uh, it was uh, my 18th birthday, and fuck. he's like, one condition, don't fucking sell it. Yeah. Just do it up. This is the only thing I'm ever going to be able to give you. And yeah, it was, right. you yep. know, like, and, um, and yeah, just fucking took it for granted. <laughs> <laughs> but that car cost us 2,800 bucks. Fuck. And it was a clean VL executive, 180,000 on the clock or something like that. Fuck. And I used to drive it. I used to work at Norell and Auto Electrical. I was doing mm. an apprenticeship there when I was 18. And I used to drive it and it had like no air con, no heater. Yeah. Fucking foggy <laughs> window. You have to wind the windows down in winter yeah. and that. You know, fucking hanging your head out the window to see where you're going. And my mum yeah. hated it because she used to have to drive home. Yeah, okay. And she's she's got you know she's used to driving her Calais like just a yeah. VA Calais. It's nice and comfortable. She gets in this thing. It's fucking like yeah, you know, it's an old bucket. And fucking, <laughs> it's just a shit box car. Like it was yeah. nice, but like to her, it's like ah fuck. Yeah. Why does my son, why can't my son just have a normal car? Like, yeah, yeah, not normal. Have a normal car. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I'd have kept it, but you know, fuck. I might be able to get it back one day. Yeah, I uh, I'll, I'll persist it with it. Yeah, <laughs> I crashed mine uh, my Commodore before I put a V six in it. It's just, I'm talking like I was eighteen, oh early at seventeen. Yeah, it's not far. Fuck, halfway through my red piece, so it's still seventeen. Yeah, going to a mate's house up at I think it was Oakdale. Oh yeah, somewhere up there. I think it was Oakdale. He lived at. I done used to do a lot of stuff back then. I can't fucking really remember, <laughs> but. Uh, come round that roundabout at fucking Malaysia, drop down the hill. Oh, yeah. Fucking sideways. My mate. This way that. down the hill, this way down the hill, lost control up the gutter, busted both wheels, fucked the control arms, steer, uh, steering rack control arms. Yeah. Fucking the wheels hanging out, and I was <laughs> tow truck. Nearly, <laughs> it's not so like when I had my clubby, it was a 355 stroker. The most dumbest purchase I've ever. I bought it off a mate, but I was just like, I just split up with my ex fiance. Yeah. You know, got a fuck it. Got a, was like, fuck it, I'm getting a loan out and buying a car. Because yep. I'm having my, you know, at the time, midlife crisis. Yeah. You're having the quarter, crisis. My quarter life crisis. Yeah. You know? And um, I went and bought this fucking VT club off my mate. His, him and his brothers built it and then they'd sold it and then they bought it back and then they wanted to sell it again. And it had a few issues, but not many. And um, it had been in a big accident, but it had been fixed. Yep. And um, I bought it and I just fucking, we, we all flogged it. Like, just flog the fuck out yeah. and I remember coming around so before you you know that roundabout of Malaysia you yep. go across the bridge and then you come up there's another roundabout yep. so I'm coming back down towards Malaysia and I've kicked it out <laughs> and as I've come around there's a big tree at that roundabout yep. as well and I've come around and as I've whipped around it's like whipped back and I'm facing this tree and I was like, ah, <laughs> like I'm not doing that in this car anymore but um I got one of those stories car. I got one of those stories but I hit the tree yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I parked the VL in between two trees that's Ooh. how I crashed it I had an argument with my ex-missus when we were still together about something stupid I said fuck you I'm going for a drive yep. didn't even have my licence yet I was on a private road like, yeah. she lived on a private road down Avoca <laughs> and I come out just fucking smack first second third in the wet you know like on the dirt road and it, it just started going one way yep. and I didn't let up for some reason because I'm a stubborn prick yep. it started going the other way <laughs> did a let up and then I just hooked it and then just run up the embankment smacked it in between two trees Ooh. went between both the deer fences and then I was like I had to get her to pull me out I had to cut out all the barbed wire over the roof and shit fuck and hobble it home and then I had to go fix the fence the next day fuck and that was hell. the end of it and then I got rid of it yeah dangerous they had a Supra they had a Supra nice just under 500 horse at the tyres fuck yeah fuck it was quick 
was twin turbo. The guy brought it off, put a single on it. So yeah, big single turbo on it. It was fun, hey. Yeah. Cruising on the M4, you could be in sixth gear. You yeah. just go back to fourth and step off the clutch, and it'd just yeah. bake yeah. them as long as as long as you had the balls to hold on to it. It'd it'd just paint two lines. It was ridiculous. We ended up hit the tree straight between the headlights. Fuck. 120 k's an hour. Oh. Should be in a box. Like I'll show you. Like I'm not going to go too far into it now. Every yeah. podcast has heard about it. I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, insane. Same shit. Took off from work late late in the afternoon. All the boys are at work. I'm like, yeah, man, I got fucking six kid. Took off down the street. Just fatigue. Like a twelve yeah. hour day. Just couldn't hang on to it. And I ended up yeah going straight, straight between the tree. Took an hour and a half to cut me out of the car. Fuck man. Yeah, fractured three vertebrae in my back. Had nine months off work, couldn't walk. They had to teach me how to walk again in the hospital. Wow. Full fucking full harness in me, pull me out of bed in a crane yeah, and walk around yeah, and you shit. Have to hold on the thing, man. But it was fucked. Worst time of my life. I'm but looking over you, man. But being out, of, all the ambulance and fireys that first showed up, the first question they asked me was, "How are you alive?" Yeah, because they've showed up to accidents where people have had head-ons at 40 k's an hour and, and they're hanging out in the wind like they're gone yeah so it was ridiculous but this is the fucking worst thing right this this freaks a lot of people out I accepted that I was gonna fucking die hey yeah because I was doing everything I could to not hit that tree because I was looking at it out the driver's window and I was doing everything I could to not fucking hit it and then it was just car started to come back but it just, never gonna happen you know yeah. no getting away from the fucking tree it was just and it was just like whoa it was just I it. put my hands in my lap and just relaxed and they reckon that's why I didn't fucking die because like relaxed. like drunk drivers they're relaxed when they have accidents that's yeah, why nothing happens to the drunk driver the drunk driver yeah, yeah okay. which I wasn't drunk I was not drunk I was yeah, working yeah. fucking 12 hours but drunk driver. but it was just that fucking realisation man I was just like whoa this is this it, is it. Yeah. hands in the lap fucking close my eyes yeah. And I woke up to the boys open, trying to open the door and get yeah. me out of the car. And then they were having an argument to leave me because they didn't know what was wrong with me. And, and neck injuries. They ended up getting a fucking... My leg was like a banana backwards up under the dash. I'll show you pictures of the car later on. It's fucked. But um, yeah, very bad experience. Another reason why I started this and why it's all about perspective and how yeah. you look at life and mindset and yeah. things are presented in front of you. you got to recognise that it's a test like we are talking about is, earlier yeah. you've got to recognise it's a test and then you overcome the adversity exactly. you put the struggle yeah. in yes and then that's the step that's the step up and then what do you know you've yeah. got another fucking problem and then new levels is new devils 100% you know, the one thing I will say I'll say it straight to the camera but life gives the hardest test to those who are strong enough to endure them fucking A right so if you're in a test right now just trust the process I agree with that like that's that's what it's Be, about because yep. you know I I say God but I'll just put it in a life perspective for everyone because it's just you know we, we cover all the areas and yep. but you know you stay down through the hard time I listen to a lot of Nipsey so a lot of the things that I say yep. like are from like they're emulated through song lyrics yep. but you know it's but they're the guys that fucking speak they're that. the ones that you know yes they were hustlers like I've yep. never sold drugs in my life might have thrown someone in 20 a week. Yeah. You know, but I've never, I don't have the guts, bro, to yeah. sell drugs. And, you know, my, my family don't come from a, you know, they, they, they shunned us away from that. You know, they, yep. they really helped us give us a good life. Like my mum had a bit of a harsh background growing up. Yep. Um, you know, so did my dad, but my dad come from hard work. Me and mum come from struggle. Yeah. Hustle over struggle. You know, and they made me that, and I just can't. I couldn't sell drugs and shit. You know? Yeah, it's just not me. Yeah, you know, but I had to figure out a way by any means necessary. Fuck and yeah. so I just implemented the things that like Tupac and Nipsey and um, Dave East and Jay Stone and all those sort of dudes yep. emulate about work ethic mm-hmm. in their life. So by any means, I'm not a gangbanger or a hustler. <laughs> I respect them for that. Just put in the work. But work rate. Yep. Gary V style it's work rate 100% you know, it's just the legal way of doing the same thing Yeah. and it is a drug dealer method if you've got supply you've got demand Man, 100% you know, there's that's an right. exchange there that's right know. that's how high smile started Yeah. supply and demand they filled like there was a demand of people that wanted you know had home teeth whitening so yep. so to speak they filled that with their product yep. you know that's crazy. how everything happens you know it's fucking crazy man so when do you think you're going to get the Commodore painted. 
It's a good question, eh? Um, you're going to get done when your mate gets his done? Nah, his will get done first. I think the bloke that's doing the car, both of our cars, is he lives in Candles. Okay. So I think that... Mad. Have you ever been out there when they used to have the burnouts and shit on I've out there? I've never been to the Candles one. I've always wanted to go. Yeah. But um, I think... I'm not sure good when Good place. Good time. Them. Yeah. Yeah, good time. I haven't... Um, I've never been up there, so I'm super keen to go up there and have a look. Yep. But um, My Dale... My parents used to live up there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, went to yeah. the burnout shop there. Fuck, five years in a row? I've seen a lot of videos of it. Yeah. Like, heaps of videos, but I've never... Still speak to a lot of people now from up there, so if you're watching, shout out to you guys. Shout out to Candles, man. Fuck yeah. Some be- oh, some it's been a sticks, bro. Me. It's fucking nowhere, but... Some mad skid vids have come out of there, but... Yeah. Like, I remember Cranky. And a lot of mates, yeah. Orange HQ, yep. Flames. That's actually one of my... No, she's not my, really my friend anymore. I'm, I know her, though. It's her uncle. Yeah. It's that car. It's a fucking awesome car. Fuck yeah, it is. Yeah. I don't know what it runs, like blown methanol. I don't know big block. if it's still around now, but... 540 big block. Yeah. Something crazy. Fucking, uh, there was a Tirana from back those days. That's like, fuck, easy 10 years ago. Had um, crazy, like, wizards and witches and stuff. I think, Airbrushed yeah, all over yeah. it. Yeah. I think like my dad... front to of back, that. it was like purple and red and yellow wizards and fucking yeah, crazy shit. Yeah, I think I remember seeing that. That was I my... my dad's got photos of it. He took my mate to his formal in that thing. Yeah. And there was another just plain blue Tirana from back then as well. The number plate was Assassin. And yeah, that thing I don't think I've was, seen that one. Yeah, we used to be heavy in the skids back then. Yeah, right. We used to love it. But then, yeah gets expensive oh fuck yeah <laughs> it costs money engines cost money yeah but nah it's fucking good times No, nah, that's good it. times up there yeah so that's yeah bizarre. that's where that's where we're gonna have to go to get the cars painted anyway because yep. the bloke that's doing is retired like yep. he just does it for something to do but mm-hmm. he's a really really good painter I've never met him myself but um but Dale and his family know him yep and um, I think, think they call him Red okay yeah they just call him Red but um yeah he's gonna do Dale's car um I'm not sure if Dale's like sort of organised when he's gonna do the car, but I'm gonna try and while Have Dale's already. while Dale's car's getting done, yep. it'll take it a while. We're gonna prep, finish prepping the, mm-hmm. the rest of my car because it um it's like I said it's still got a I've got to finish shaving the engine bay. Yep. I've got to like put the glass back in it. I yep. might just leave the glass out until it's painted, but. You know, got to put the glass and all that shit back in it, especially around the windows and like mm-hmm. it's got windows in it, but um, rubber seals. seals like, I need to get a bolt kit. I need to get a rubber. Kit. I need heaps of shit. Yeah. But as long as I can get the doors and the bonnet and the guards and the shell painted, That's, I'll just off yeah, to a good start. I'm off to a decent start. I mean, Fuck I've yeah. had a, I've had the project for five years and I've never touched one. Yeah, the right. Cars that I've had because <laughs> I've been, I've had the money and then you know shit come up. But you're doing other. But um, you know, I just have to prioritize other things. Yep. You know, so. I mean, hopefully, if everything goes well, that'll be my daily business car. Yeah. Like, I was like, fuck, fuck it. If yeah. I'm going to build it, bro, I'm going to put K's on because I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm building this car. Get the name on it. Yeah, yeah, you know, like. To tax write off, bro. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how much I can get away with. We'll see how much it's I can advertising. Get away with. Driving around with it on the. Well, to a degree. But, you know, at the end of the day, I always want a cool shit to cruise around in. 100%. Because, like, I could go and get a fucking. I must say, he's like every other. Yep. every other bond yep. I don't like that I love and, and pay the repayments every week like pay the repayments else. every week you know my finance yeah. team doing that you know yep. but nah but um I'll always just you know I'm heavily heavily love like old school cars and I was like you know what if I can if I can have it as a business car as, as an advertisement yep. I'm gonna fucking do that fucking Fuck yeah. you know because then people know who we are yep. but also they know what the car stands for so they know that everything that we do is, is for the greater good at the end of the day 100% like like I was saying before, like I don't, I used to focus on the money. I don't like in this business. I don't. Yeah, you can't. You, know? you can't. You can't focus on money. Money come and go, bro. The faster you, you know, chase like, it, the faster it. Yeah, runs away. it'll come and go all the time. Your time doesn't though. That's right. You start dying the day you're born. Yeah. The day you take your first breath. Yeah. Don't waste that thinking about money. Money's nothing in this world. There's enough money to go around. Hundred yeah. percent. Let's um, so. We have done a quick run through of who you are, what you're into, what you're about, kind of what you like with your cars and your direction of life and what you want to do. Yeah. So let's kind of try and change direction again and jump into what do you want this to become? So say, I don't want to say like a five-year plan, 10-year plan. I don't want that kind of mm. scale, but... Where do you see 
like the brand going like even in the next six to 12 months like to reach what you can do to push the brand mm. even more like you're talking about helping as much people as you can do you have any ideas on what you want to do specifically like even if there's certain organizations yeah. people you want to reach out Definitely. to yeah things yeah. that you want to kind of kick off into motion yeah. within 2021 100 man um I'm, I'm, I've always like this was the thought for my first brand back in the day but essentially like and this is no diss to anyone in the business industry <laughs> I, I have to say it because otherwise like I'm not people get upset yeah. I, I want my brand to be the biggest in Australia fucking A like straight up but that's yep. that's only to push me to continue that's it's right. not for me to be like yeah look at me I'm a fucking sick cunt that's it's right. for me to go I want to make this brand the best in Australia 100%. and one of the biggest if yep. not the biggest but in saying that, you know, in saying in our essence that we are a skate brand, yeah, we are a skate brand, but I focus more around the community of people that we are come from different walk of life mm-hmm. and you don't have to be a skater to wear our shit. That's right. You know? Anyone and can wear it. Anyone can wear it. So I think like for me, established, like I pretty much just, everybody knows me because I'm so authentic. So I've sort of established who we are. Yep. Um, but I definitely try to, um, I'm trying to figure out like, because I've never really tried to incorporate a charity as such like Beyond yep. Blue or anything like that like proceeds from the sale like you mm-hmm. know percentage of proceeds go to um, charity for every drop so yep. I am trying to figure out my mentor's on holidays now so I can't do it right now but in the new year I'm going to ask him like how can I incorporate this the best but, way you can but, yeah yeah exactly that. yeah but there was also another idea I had if I can't do it with loss and supply in its essence um, what I was going to do is actually rebirth um, my first ever company yep. which is Refuse to Sink that's yep. where that whole thing started like that's what I got the tattoo from. for yep. was the way to the world Refuse to Sink and so many people love that so maybe like I could do definitely like certain products that we had um, that go straight to charity yeah like so they just cover the cost 100% of, of that yeah so they just cover the cost of the production of that yep. product the, the and all those proceeds like the, the profit goes to charity that's right um, because I really think it's an important thing I don't think that yeah, it's spoken about more than it used to be, but I still think it needs more. Definitely. And I think definitely, like, because I, I like to include females as well. Yep. You know, like, I understand that men's suicide rates is higher. I do. Mm-hmm. I'm a bloke. I've been there. Yeah. You know, definitely. but I think keeping it mutual, yep. you know, and just suicide awareness in general. Suicide That's prevention right. in general. That everyone has. Everybody Everyone has goes through stuff. Shit they do. That's with, right. You know, and, you know, some blokes might not agree with that statement, but yep. at the end of the day, I just I care too much about the like the about human race, about people, bro. Yep. Because I've seen people come and go, and nobody deserves to. 100%. There's eight billion people in the world. Yeah. Nobody deserves to feel on their own. Fuck no. You know, so I definitely want to try and achieve something in that um, space. 100%. Um, something that's fair, something that can really make a difference. Yeah. Because I don't just want to be donating money thinking that that's a good thing. I'd, that's right. I'd love to do talks and you know right. share my experiences with you know, young teens and stuff as yep. well. And of course, like maybe in the five year plan, doing the schools and the skate parks for charities, yeah. um, you know, make, even make it a I've foundation. For that, we can talk about yeah. that. Like, cool. <laughs> we can talk about that. Like, off air, that, bro. we can't. Like, yeah, <laughs> future things. Yeah. yeah, future things. But yeah, you know. 2021 like, things. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you know, I'm always, like I don't really plan much. Like even this is sort of spontaneous for me. Yep. I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. You know, like I'm dipping my feet in every aspect still. You got it. Even though I'm established, you know, like Gary V passed on Uber twice. Yeah, that's right. You know, so I just dip my feet in every opportunity because your opportunities don't come back. The money will, but the opportunities won't if you don't take the risk. Exactly. You never know. Exactly. You know. It's part of the reason I reached out to you. Yeah. Hundred percent. And I didn't even question it. I was like, yep, fucking no. I think I've seen maybe three or four of your TikTok videos. Yeah. But they're like a couple of days apart. Yeah. So I seen one, and I was just like, okay, this kind of fuck cool. Like you know, He's cool doing cat. do it just doing your thing, just yeah. being positive, just doing your thing. I'm like, oh fuck with that. And then I seen another one. I was just like, okay, like yeah, just kept coming back. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was just like, okay, this is Matt. I'm gonna send this kind of message. <laughs> and then it was just I wasn't expecting a yes because I had messaged a bunch of people about yeah. doing this, and they're like, but what do I get out of it? You know what I mean? It's, it's just like it's, it's just always like, thanks, that, hey, thanks like, for your time. 
Thanks like, for your it's time. It's always a gimme, gimme, gimme. Like, like I don't I'm know what I can do for you. Be, being on this is what you did for me. Like, you know, yeah, like crazy. that's how I see things. Yep. I don't expect you to be like, oh, you know, what do you want? Yeah. I'm here in your house, in your, you know, your, right. your, this is your space. This yep. is your space, you know, and you've allowed me to come here mm-hmm. and express myself. That is more than enough for me. Yep. Because to me, that's like an opportunity for not only other people to get to know me yep. and what I'm about, but, you know, when I share this shit and bring those people that get to know about you, and, you know, as well. So networking, you know, a lot of people overlook networking because they're always... Definitely. It's the dollar figure that kills you. Yes. You know? So, but, like, but this, right? Imagine how many conversations have you had with people on TikTok, Instagram, mm-hmm. Facebook, whether it's another person or a business. Yeah where you ask a question it might take you a couple of days to get a response mm. you get a response and then you're like that wasn't the full answer I want it like you yeah. know what I mean not that you you just try, trying to fucking talk you're trying yeah. to build a relationship you know yeah. what I mean but it's like this is just the next step up in that platform yeah. you know what better way to have a conversation with someone than then to have a fucking conversation face, with someone yeah. so that's the point where I got out with the podcast it's like yeah. I don't like asking questions and stuff is cool but like that's from my perspective, yeah. it's like this is what I want to know from you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's not like, yeah, I I didn't see that as serving anyone else. Mm. So the whole point, well, not even the whole point. Part of today, the whole reason I wanted to to meet you and have you on the podcast was to just have a conversation. Yeah, because I don't know who the fuck's gonna watch this. No, this one conversation could be that one thing for someone else and go fuck. Maybe yeah. if I, maybe if I just put that extra fucking work in for like another day yeah. another week another 100%. month it's just it's gonna work yeah and I think like you know cause you and I would know personally like when you watch something it might spark an old idea 100%. that you had and I think yep. like for me especially like cause I wasn't gonna I was gonna close down dreams and that was gonna be it yep I was gonna go back to my old job fuck you know I was like ready to fuck that's it. a big commitment right. in I the brain man so done yeah, you know, I was at the point I was like, all right, you win, yeah, God. Fuck you it. know, like I'm, I'm over it. I'll just go back and work like my dad. And, yep. And I, this is the f- the weirdest thing that I've, I don't know. If this is like the universe talking to me. I get that correlating number bullshit all the time, where it's like five, 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 three, three, three. Yep. I never dabbled into it. I never like paid attention to eleven, eleven bullshit. Yep. I, I always thought it was a fucking joke, but I take that back now because yep. that that night, I pulled up to a satellites just chilling, listening to music, feeling like shit, you know, I'm about to close down this company and have nothing. Yep. And I see this Beamer pull up. It wasn't like a new one or nothing, but I'm just bobbing my head and I see this Beamer pull up and he had a really nice number plate, but it said 777JJJ. Yep. Yeah, right. So like my first name, you know, yeah. Josh, 777. And I was like, okay. what the? And then, you know, and it, you know, seven business attempts. And then it was like, and I was like, this has to mean something, you know? Yeah, and absolutely. I'm one of those people that likes to dabble in, like, the yep. idea of, like, what does you this give mean? it the meaning. And, and yeah. then, you know, I looked up the number seven. I started studying, like, what they call angel numbers. Yep. And then after that, bro, I get them all. Two, Everywhere. one, two, yeah. three, five, three, fucking, you know? And it just, yep. it's like, because it's energy. That's right. You know, like, because you're manifesting that energy, like, yep. that positive energy. Is, you know and like every time I see a correlating number I'll look it up and it gives me a little bit of motivation like it's just my little thing that That's gives right. me a little bit of motivation like whether it's coincidence or, or not I don't care it's you how have, I'm seeing it but you know? you, you're in that conscious state to yeah, see it to see it and I think that you know I see 11, 11 a lot 10, 10, <laughs> right, 12, every day. 12 every know? day but almost not every day not for a while and then like it'll go away for a bit but then it'll come back to remind you yeah you know but I think yep. that you know in my personal opinion that's God's way of talking to me mm-hmm. because I was st- like I don't get really to be honest with you I don't really feel much when I pray or like when I you know um, when I pray or like when I meditate or anything like that mm-hmm. you know I never really gain much from a rosary bead either yep you know and even when the first time I went back to church like I go to like a little group uh, called Alpha okay and we just um, yeah it's a really good group they do it every year it goes for like nine weeks and then they just do like we just do like a Monday night sort of meeting like and just read the gospel and yep. of that of that week that they do at the mass like okay. I'm not a Christian I mean I'm not a Catholic like I'm not baptized or anything yep. but you know the first few times I went I was like you know like what, what, what the fuck is this yeah. you know like I don't feel anything I don't want to be here yep. why am I coming here yep. and I've never missed a fucking like since I started it I've, yeah, been, right. I've never missed a week fuck you know 
I think I missed one time when I was like really sick. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Like I was bedridden sick. But you know, I just kept doing it, and it just I don't know. I think I do it more for other people now than I do for myself because yep. I have my own little things. But that's what it is, isn't it? Like it's about other people. Yeah, that's like right. How how yeah. can you as as weird as it is? I don't know if you're like me in the same sense. I don't. I will not. Fuck, it's even weird just to say. It. I don't expect anything from anyone, but I'm happy to give anyone everything. Yeah. You know? That's which is exactly weird. how I've lived my life for which the is last so weird, you know, 15 years. I've had a lot, a lot, not a lot of people, but a few people say to me, why do you fucking... Why do you do that? Why do you give them that? Like, you yeah. know, why do you give them that attention? Why do you why do you tell them that? Like, yeah. you're giving away a secret? I'm like, but it's not my knowledge to keep. Exactly. So, it's knowledge to be shared. And this is what, you know, like we talk about like um you know um a couple of my mates from the group that are really really close to and um yeah it's like that it's not yours to keep like if like you know uh even even when you pray if you believe in god like i do god you know when you pray to god and you say fucking take away my struggles yeah he's not gonna take he's not just gonna wave his wand and like take away but he's gonna give you opportunities to be courageous and be strong to overcome the struggle to, to fucking hustle over struggle that's you know right. and I think that's, right. that's what a lot of people get misconcepted about whether yep. you believe in the universe as energies or religion or any you know witchcraft Definitely. mystic shit yep. like at the end of the day you're the sole source of that energy anyway exactly whatever you put out is gonna come back to you yep. you put out negative you get negative back 100% if you have an ego that ego will be crushed fucking A you know but if you're confident within yourself and that comes from a pure place yep that's not ego. That's just you being confident. You know? right. And I think that's where people get misconcepted, especially about people like me. I'm not a prick. I'm not I'm not yep. an egotistic person. I don't want to prove anyone wrong. I'm trying to... It's me versus me. Bro. It's just you. That's right. You know? It's me versus me. But a lot of people get misconstrued because a, a lot of people misjudge. Sorry. Yes. I'll go with that. A lot yeah. of people misjudge cockiness or ego yeah. for confidence. Yes. Because they... It's, it's very... But it's, it's lacking in themselves. And the thing is, is like, I can tell you, sit here and tell you the truth. And some of your viewers might be like, he's talking shit. Yeah, that's right. But, you know. I but it's not because it. you're talking shit. It's because it's they their, might not be able to express themselves their, their the way opinion, that you can. Their, their opinion, their view, yeah. Their perception. Yeah, perception, you know. That's right. Well, but, their perspective. Yes. But I think, you know, when your intentions are pure, people can pick up on that. 100%. You know. Yep. Like, I wouldn't. You know, at the end of the day, like, I never thought to myself in 2020, coming into 2021, I'd tell everyone, people that I've never met my entire life story. Yep. To most Struggles that you've faced. But everyone, you know, not that everyone goes through the same things, but a lot of people experience very similar. Yeah. Similar thoughts, similar things throughout life. 100%. But always think there's only one. Yeah. So and until not, you start yeah. talking to someone and you go, oh, fuck, you went through something like that too. Yeah. And you're and like, like, you need to show them that they're right. not alone. Yeah. That's right. And that's where the fucking, that's where that, that kick come from. So, but I like what you said before about when I messaged you about being on the podcast, you're like, fuck yeah. Yeah, like, I was just keen as fuck. I'm like, dude, this guy wants me on his podcast. Yeah, He's no, gangster, it's gangster, you know? It's like, crazy, but because the first thing I thought of just like a couple minutes ago when you said it was fucking David Goggins. Have Goggins, you seen? Yeah, man. Uh, Fuck, I, I can't remember the, the world's hardest man, mate. Yeah, fucking A. <laughs> I can't remember the dude. Uh, I was watching him not long ago. I only just started following him on TikTok not long ago, too. He went and stayed with him for a while. Jesse, Jesse something. I can't remember. I can't remember his name. But uh, he ended up staying with him for like a month or something to like mm. re learn about program him and, like, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But uh, Goggin said yes. He goes, he goes, motherfucker, if you're crazy enough to ask me, I'm crazy enough to fucking come. Yeah. And that's the first thing I thought of. It's like, well, fuck, I asked the question. And you're just like, yeah, no worries. Like, yeah. fucking up. If you want to ask the question, we'll, we'll fucking do it. Yeah, bro. But that's all it is. You just got to yeah. ask a fucking question. Yeah, that's it. You got to step out of your comfort zone and ask. You know, like, yep. even even if you'd be used to it. Yep. Like, we don't know each other. That's we right. know each other on a certain level now. Yep. You know, and I, I'm, I'd love to come back and do more yep. podcasts in the future. Okay. You know, but... If you don't ask, you don't know. That's right. The biggest risk in life in anything you do is never taking that risk. That's right. You know, and like the, the quicker no, you understand No risk it, is a risk. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I think that, you know, like I said, people just get carried away with the, the what's in it for me or the dollar symbol. Yep. Like, do do the shit first yep. and then figure out what you got out of it. That's right. And take away the good part. 100%. You know, and the lessons and, you know, the experience. Yep. Uh, like, if yeah. this... <laughs> 
like if this goes on YouTube and gets ten views or gets a hundred views, ten people. Well, it it doesn't change the way I feel about it. Yeah. Like you know, I'm so happy. I'm getting, sitting here learning, getting yeah. to have a conversation yeah. with, yeah. with it's you. It's the same you know? as me, you know. It's so an amazing I'm not, experience for me. I'm not like, yeah, man, this is gonna be fucking a thousand views. Fuck yeah! It's just yeah. like, man, I couldn't care if I get ten ten views. Like yeah. you said, that's ten more people that might now have some relation and go and be inspired that's right and it came from your podcast you know like that's right i'm but just happy to be here part of that process you know because out of those 10 people that one person might do something that helps a thousand people exactly right so that's that, the yes. knock on and that's i think my, my you're mentor, completely oblivious that you are actually helping people me and my mentor were talking about this as well like depending on like say you have like say a hundred thousand viewers yep or 100,000 followers, yep. so per se, like between your platforms. And then like, it's a percentage. Like yes. you might only get 1% that come and buy something for your shop. Yep. Like, yeah, I've got 17 and a half thousand followers. That doesn't mean every single person is going to come and look at my shit. Fuck. Some people are there simply to see the content that I'm Just putting Just to out. see you. And I'm, and I'm, that's, they're the ones that engage the most. Yep. And like, yeah, they might come across and buy something because they like it. They want to show support or they want something, you know, limited edition, whatever. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, my biggest it's I'm kind of like Gary V yeah. like I'm I am the face of, of inspiration. my brand. like I'd rather change someone's life with my words than give 100%. them a t-shirt yep. you know but like I said my products products are pure hustle yep. so when they wear it, it it gives them that that sense of feeling that it gives me like I'm wearing a Foster Supply 100%. t-shirt this one's not even out yet yep. it's probably not coming out <laughs> see it's, it's sure. my CEO shirt yeah you know it's like CEO it's just shirt. the one I wear around I like so that. I don't get noticed too much like because yeah. I see people at the lights and they're like Hey, I follow you on TikTok, you know? Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, I put uh, stuff up on, like, it's Jordan Springs page, Cranbrook page, Penrith yeah. page, all that shit. Put shit on there all the time about whatever the fuck I'm doing at the time. And then I'm walking around at the shops and, like, whether the fuck they know that it's the, me yeah, or, the, or, or they know the brand, but I see people looking at me, I'm like, is he looking at me because they... Yeah, like, who like is that guy? Like, do they recognise, like, me? Do they recognise yeah. the name? Like... Yeah, it, it kind they, of makes you want to say hello to people. Yeah, but then it's just like I don't want to be that weirdo. It's just be like, be hey, bro, like, you know, it's like it's like I see a lot of people because I, I went to St. Dom's and there's a lot of people yeah. that are like, yeah, Dommy's boys, I remember you, and I'm like, fuck, yeah, that, right, bro. like <laughs> I don't want to remember me back then, you know, like yep. that was such a shit time. But yeah, like, no, nah, it's cool, you know, like I think that the power of your words is very, it's crazy. You can change someone's life, I know, know, with what you say. So, yep. the, you know, it's like a. It's like that Spider-Man thing with great power comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. Yeah. I think everybody in their own life has that responsibility. It's not just the people that have, you know, a following on, on social media. Yep. It's everyone. The thing That's you say it. to that guy on the street is, is a, you know, like, yep. but we don't think about it like that. That's right. You know, so you just make sure you do it out of the goodness of your heart. Yeah, man. And for the peop- for yourself, your family, and the people around your family first. That's right. And, you know, everything. Even strangers, man. Like Sometimes I see people having a bad day, especially in the truck. I'm at yeah. up and down the highway from rural and servos and yeah. fucking Maccas and all the rest of it. Yeah. It's just people traveling. Yeah. People are always having a bad day, trying to get somewhere quicker than you, cut yeah. you off to get somewhere. And then I pull up like 15 minutes later at the servo and they're there. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, this fucking guy. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, Because I didn't let him move in in front of me. It's like I slow down for him. And they just keep going, yeah. and then they move over and they give you the finger, and it was like, yeah. it's like, it's like, it it's like I'll slow down yeah, for you, man. Yeah. Like fuck. And then you see them in there, and they, I've had it a couple of times. Something. No, but they eyeball you. They like they look at you like, like is this like you can I fucking say something? Or what? And I'll just be like, how are you, man? Like just say hello. How are you, man? Oh yeah, not bad yourself. Yeah, I'm not too bad, mate. How's your day? Yeah. And oh, they just they go, oh fuck. Yeah, they don't know what to do. Kindness. They don't yeah. know what to do, yeah. And it's weird because everyone's so fucking wound up, man. Yeah, and they're all like this, like all day, like yeah. My life's so fucked, like no, it's not. You're over. You're making up scenarios in your head. It don't and I used exist. to do this so much, yeah. you know, like, and then you know, I remember this one time. It was on TikTok and someone was like, "That car is gay as fuck." And this <laughs> and that, and I posted a video. I said, "I'm doing this car because I lost a fucking baby this year, yep. and it's been a shit year, and I'm just trying to fucking brighten people's days, all right?" You yeah, know, that's right. Like I'm fucking happy for these why people. Why have you got a fucking problem like, with it? Yeah. Why has everybody got to fucking, you know, yeah. just ha- absolutely hound people for trying to yeah. bring some sort of peace to somebody else's life that's and right. then gain, like I'm an empath, you know, yeah. I really just, I, yeah. I want to heal the world if I could. Yeah. But 
you know, and then that person ended up messaging me in private and he was yeah, like, right. I'm so fucking sorry, you know, this and that. I said, I'm sorry as well because yep. I shouldn't have put you on blast like shouldn't that. Reacted, but I right. had, you know, he wasn't the first person to do that. Yeah, fucking a hundred other you know, people, yeah. How, how does putting stickers on my car make me gay? You know, and that's, that's right. how the thing started. Is, oh, that's the home of home thing. Like, and I just yeah. said, look, I love everyone. You that's can do right. whatever the fuck you want. As long matter. as you have respect for other mm-hmm. people, I don't give a fuck. That's right. You know, but I wonder how many other people he's... Said He's that done to that too, but like I think it really got to him when I was like, "Look, I've been through this. That's right. It shouldn't fucking like I shouldn't even have to go there." But I, you know, this is the thing. This is the, what pissed me off about Doomed so much was that I had to go to my source of pain to each person I had an argument with, yeah, and explain why I was going so fucking haywire. Yeah, I had all this other shit going on in my head. Plus, I got this bullshit here about Chinese whispers within that yep. scene. You know, so I had to like. Break it down, you know. But at the end of the day, may the bridges we burn light the way. Yeah, fucking you know? man. Some you're not meant some, to go backwards. You know, sometimes you just you're meant to like cut certain things off. Yep. And 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 move and that's, just, that's it. You know, rebuild, hustle over struggle, stay flossing for life, bro. Keep marching. Yeah. And just don't stop. Yeah. Life's just one big learning curve. Fuck yeah, it is. You know. So, what are you now doing with your drops? Because you got a bunch of stuff print on demand going. Just for this small. Just for that one that only. Ends today. And that ends today. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so I did see TikTok earlier about that. that. Yeah. That ends today. Okay. So the thirtieth closed it off. Yeah. And that was literally. I might do one one little T-shirt drop. But honestly, to be honest, like it's. It's the same quality. It's AS color. The yep. only difference is with print on demand, it doesn't come in my packaging. That's right. But I'm actually switching my packaging because I want to be um, more um, biodegradable yep. packaging. You use the heaps so good now, do you? I do use the heaps yeah. good. I do have <laughs> a stack yeah, of them. Yeah. I um I have. Well, um, they changed their name now. Did they? Yeah. Surely not. Yeah. They're heaps good now. Sorry. I'm oh. Gonna, I'm gonna get out of frame now. They were dirt bag. Dirt bag. Okay. Yeah, those are the ones that I got. They were dirt bag, but now they're okay. heaps good. Okay. Yeah. Same yeah. brand, same name, uh, oh, same yeah, yeah. company, same okay. brand, same people. Yeah. They yeah. just change it to so one. Yeah. I'm switching to biodegradable because the world really doesn't need more plastic. No, it um, does not. Um, I'm trying to get away from even using those. But yeah. I've got a feeling I've got another idea, but what I want to do will still... I still got to package it in some way. Yeah. So yeah. that's it's 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 the best way to go. But like I know you can get biodegradable fucking tape these days. Yep. Like it is Everything. more expensive. But yep. I mean for the bags, no. But for tape and shit, yeah. That's right. But I mean like um for me myself, um I'm just gonna get a screen yep. and and screen them myself. Like I still oh, have yeah. um like a stack of the plastic ones because I bought like 150 yep. or 100 yep. of the ones with the floss and supply. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I really want to move away from plastic as much as I can. Definitely. Also, with like packaging things, like um, I am working on like flossing up the packaging, yeah, you could no. say, um, for custom boxes and things like that. Yep. Because I've got a lot of. I won't go into too much detail. I'm going too much away. I'll say it off camera. Hush, but hush. um, there is a couple of really exclusive drops coming nice next year probably more towards the end of the year yep and I'm talking like numbered drops like nice this many pieces made you get a certificate from us and that's it and a, like a one of box X, and, and one it. of however many one of a hundred one of fifty whatever yep um box certificate ex, yeah special box with the whole magnet, the fucking kitten caboodle you Fuck know the yeah. whole thing because I think that is just fucking sick. I yeah, love that, you know. Like, yep. I, and I actually, I've got to give it to the boys at G Up. I've, I've got to give that to them because yeah. I saw them do that with their puffer jackets, and I thought, Fuck nah. me, dead. That is so next sick. Yep. That's next level. Yep. And like, just imagine wearing it. People like know what it is. It's kind of like yep. when you know big brands do that sort of shit. And I'm just like, that's like a piece of, say, you become like a legacy or a legend or whatever. Yep. That's like a piece of that history. Hundred percent. You know? You know, I've still got like one of one patches, like of the hustle over struggle, the first hustle over struggle nice. patch I did. You know, things like that that I nice. can give away later on. You know, it's like yep. this is this is this was the concept, like and frame and give it away. You know, hundred percent. I love that shit. That'll so. turn into the flossing uh, version of sports cards and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of one. Like, kind of like when you find like old Supreme stuff, or yeah. you know, the old Nike stuff and shit. You know? Yeah, like, I'm I'm heavily infatuated by all that. Yeah, hype culture. So. Mad. That's cool. And decks and stuff too, you know. But yeah, heaps yep. of shit coming next year for drops. But yeah, I've got the Relax Your Breath 
Should I let you a prayer t shirt uh, coming out? Um, um, and I've got. Everyone froths over that, eh? Yeah, people love it. I'm, I am going to do probably another variation of that without my face on it. Because yep. not everybody wants to see my face yeah. on a t shirt. Like. <laughs> but, um, you know, that was just such a trend. You know, and it was it's yeah it's always been Dino's thing, mine and then he passed it on to me, and then I just passed it on to TikTok, Man. and everyone's like fucking let your breath, like yeah, everywhere I see, it. like as soon as someone says something negative, someone's like let your fucking breath, like before yeah. I even get a chance, to they're say onto it, it for you, they're bro. onto it, you know? that's the family, they're onto That's the for foster you. family, let yep. your fucking breath, you know, but it's just you know I say it all the time, my parents laugh, like me and Dino laugh about it, you know, we've got heaps of other quotes, but let your breath always comes up, so. Mad. Um, I'll probably do a couple of variations. I actually have a variation of the Hustle Over Struggle jersey coming. It's a Tiffany blue colour. Nice. But I only got 20 of them. Just because okay. I got 20 of the black ones. And they're going to be packaged up. Oh, uh, they're already sent out, the black yeah, ones. Yeah, right. That oh, was no, in no, the yeah. first drop. The new ones. Yeah, the new ones are coming. That's all on the yep. way. So yep. that'll be in the drop number two with the Real Actual Breath t-shirt. Nice. I'm currently making some embroidered patch ones as well. Yep. I don't know if I'll be able to release them. Okay. Um, this drop or next drop, I'll see. But I just changed. So my... Jerseys get made in Melbourne, mm-hmm. um, but I'm, and he's doing the t-shirts at the moment. The guy in Melbourne, okay. um, DTG, because the this print was so full of color, yeah, that I couldn't get anything else. So yep. I had to do DTG. I think I only got, I think uh, my original quote was twenty five. T- I think I ended up getting fifty, okay, of those instead because like I just thought to myself, yeah, you know, I'd rather have it for a longer time. So Definitely. fifty shirts, you know. Definitely. But I don't know. I'll see when they turn up because I can't remember what the quote says and I can't find the original quote. Yeah, right. It's in my archive somewhere, <laughs> so I've got to check. But um, I want to get like one more piece of clothing. It's just a bit hard. Yeah. But yeah, I reckon probably just do a, a small drop for drop two and yep. then reload again and do nice. like a four or five product drop yep. for um, drop number three. I'm going to try and do one drop a month. Yeah. Or close to, like I'm gonna push for heavy month, man. or one drop every sort of month and a half. Yeah. So on every fifth week or right. something like that. Yeah. So it's full on, bro. Yeah. I don't know if anyone watching understands that, but that's it's hard. It's a lot of fucking but work. It depends on if I can get the demand. Like there's a that's guy, right. like shout out to the boys at Dem Things because they have helped me a lot. Yep. Like they gave me a bunch of t-shirts they weren't going to use for free nice like tie-dye t-shirts mad that have already been tied on shit they're like yeah have them make use of them and mad you know like they put me on real hard so shout out to the boys at them things Fuck they're real in town so I go hit them up they do no restock items yes. as well so they've always got mad <laughs> shit but um sick as threads mad but um you know he said he knows someone in Sydney he's like you know how much you paying I told him how much he was, I was paying he's like let's go have a look at this guy yep. and see if it might be a little bit easier for you to get your shirts and hats and stuff done here yep. because like I pay a lot for shipping and like that's right. fulfilment and that's like, what kills you and they've these boys have got accounts as well like yep. with AS Colour and things like that so they that's can right. sort of help me out just with those overhead so, costs yep. because like I can run a pre-sale yeah that's but right. like you know you gotta get a minimum I think it's minimum 20 that's right. 25 items for a pre-sale if yep. I don't make that then I have to make up the you gotta and make it still the becomes rest. an overhead anyway so, 100%. 100%. so yeah it's just small yet gradual building so I'm, I'm gonna try and drop three to four products Fuck in the yeah. next couple of drops I might nice. have a little just couple of surprise drops that I just throw out you know it's only for here for a week kind of like what I did today yep or did last with, week with, with, what you, with the print on demand stuff yeah yeah because the print on demand stuff, like everyone thinks, oh, you know, it's bad. It's literally just coming from a different factory. Yeah, that's right. And these Printful has a factory in Australia now, yep. in Brisbane. Yep. And and know, they're fucking huge, man. The only thing and the is, quality is still okay. Yeah. Still fucking well, I shouldn't say it's okay. It's still fucking good. It's still good. I mean, direct to garment is the way to go. Like, especially that's if you have multiple color. Yep. Design like, and they do sublimation as well. Their sublimation Beautiful. comes from Mexico though. Yep. Um, so it does take a bit longer to come over. Yeah, I've got a couple of samples just because I wanted to get some t-shirts for myself. Yep. Um, I think I got one. Yeah, one t-shirt for Doomed. Yeah, I liked it, so I got another one. Nice. With a new design, I haven't shown anyone yet. Actually, I think I sneaked it yeah. on TikTok, yeah. <laughs> but um, I got the. I had to get the vector file fixed. Yep. Um, because I did it. I'm still learning how to make vectors and shit. Like yep. I know how to draw, but I just still learning how to make vectors. So yeah, um, that's all new to me because I only just got a MacBook and shit. So yeah, right. Yeah, that was my Christmas. Illustrator, good on there. <laughs> it it like is. It's really it's good. Really, like, really responsive. I, yeah, and I run everything off my phone. Like I don't have Wi-Fi at home. Okay. But yeah, the yeah, right. the Mac is like 
super quick. So I, I got to upgrade this. This is a HP. So I got Photoshop Premiere Pro, which I've already got. I don't know if the camera will see this, but that is the start. So that yeah. is the start for this. Yeah. So okay. once we're done and I get all the memory cards on here, it just that's all going straight into this file. Yeah, right. And then I'll change that. I actually want... Um, I want you, if you can, if you've got like a PNG file of your flossing, yeah, so yeah. I can, I'll have my name on one corner and I have oh, your name yeah, on the yeah. other side. Yeah, cool. Just yeah, I'll YouTube stick you one over. Yeah, I've got, I think I've got this one here. Okay. Because I have a blue one, but I only have the um, the source file, so it comes in two. Yep. For some reason, I don't know okay. how to turn it into a vector, I'm like not smart. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, but then Lightroom, After Effects, Audition, which is what this is running yeah. in. And then Illustrator. Yeah. Okay. I can have them all open. But yeah. And then they're all slow as fuck. Yeah, yeah. So I, I had mean, Illustrator yeah. open before, and this was just, I was just doing some testing with the mic just to make sure it was all good working. Yeah. And it was just real, real laggy. Yeah, I'm just laggy. like, yeah, I'm just going to have to close it and get yeah. back to it later. So yeah. that was like my old computer. I had a Toshiba. Yep. And I literally fucking made that computer last. It's a, it's 10 years old. Like oh. I got it when I was in school. Yeah. If it works. And I used it for year 11. No, is it 10 years? No. When did I graduate? 2014. I don't know how many years of that is, but I had it in 20... I think it's a 2011 computer. So pretty much 10 yeah, years. Yeah, nearly 10 years. Yeah. And I used it. My mate used it. He broke it. I fixed it <laughs> and then used it again <laughs> for this whole time. Fucking hell. And it's just... It was shit the whole Soldier. time. It was shit. It was shit, but it made me a little bit of money, so I can't really... And if it works, wrong, you know? yeah. but, you're uh, hustling, brother. You're fucking making yeah, it happen. Right. But Making when I got that MacBook Pro, like, game changer. Like my my parents, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm I'm fucking grateful for my parents, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's like I I work hard for my shit, and I don't ask anything for my parents. That was my that was my Christmas present, man. You know, and like I didn't get That's nothing it. else, and I didn't expect I didn't even expect it. Like my dad yep. took me to the shop, and like he was like, oh, you, you know, let's, let's, you said you wanted to look at MacBooks, eh? And I was like, yeah, yeah. You know, we're looking at the MacBook, and he's telling us about it, and he's like, yeah. My dad was like, oh have you got it in stock yeah right and he's like yeah he's like yeah we'll take that one and I'm like hey what are you fucking doing I'll buy that for myself man he's like it's my Christmas present for you mad you know I want to see you succeed mad and like you know I was like dad no nah, like I want to get that for my like I felt bad you yeah. know but he's like no he goes shut the fuck up man like he goes I want to see you succeed that's and you, right you know you've been working hard like and I can see that but he already knows that you know and man he just yeah I still get emotional about that shit because, like, I don't take that for granted. Like, yeah, I've never been. It's made that he can recognize. Yeah, so he and knows that, you're, you're putting in the work and you're yeah. fucking going, and it's like that. That's the tool for yeah, you. Yeah. To progress. Yeah, hundred and like, that's and he's like, cool. don't see it as a handout, Josh. It's not a handout, Josh. Yeah. You know, it's not that's like that. Cool. Like, I'm your fucking dad. You yeah. Know? And I will, I will do my, always do my best to watch you succeed because yeah. I know that you're always gonna give it back to someone else 100%. when you have kids or when you yep. have to find someone that needs to help Fuck I know yeah. you're going to help them you know so I'm not even afraid to say that you know yep. like I'm grateful for my parents bro. that's mad you know gotta be 100, 100% the reason without my parents I wouldn't be who I am 100%. you know like I'll always pay homage heavy to my family yep. bro especially like being Italian we're really family orientated my mum's mm-hmm. part Kiwi that's yep. where the Kiwi thing comes from. Yep. Nobody believes me because I'm white, but yeah. you know that's where the Kiwi thing comes from. Trust me, I live there, man. There's more white Kiwis there than, yeah. than anything else. But yeah, so more white fellas there than anything else. But yeah, part Kiwi, but more Italian yep. than, than Kiwi. So that's mad. Yeah, it's it's cool. Family, yeah. bro. Family Family's first. Everything, bro. Family. They were with you when you had nothing. So yeah, remember that. You know, if you have a family, cherish them, and you know. Even if they're not related, they're still, you know, if you have someone significant in your life, it's family, bro. You know, first and family. Yeah. That, all the, I just consider all them people my family now. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a really non judgmental person. Like, unless me, some, unless someone gives me a reason to be a prick, yeah. I'm pretty all right. You know, right. like, I think the only thing I sort of arced up about was when that bloke was like, oh, why do you make sad videos for clout? And it was a video about my uncle. Yeah. And it's I like said, fucking easy, and, I, and I had a lot, a lot of negative comment because of the way I came at him, and I was yep. like, "You think, you think, like, I'll fucking tap your jaw in person? Yeah, that's right. Say something like that because but they wouldn't speak all my fucking family like that's that. Right. No one would say that in front of you, but no, I could fucking and put I was money like, on it. You know, right? You know, I was. It was four thirty in the morning. Yeah. You know, I've just come home from a cracker day. You're like, who the fuck is and this I'm like, bloke? Fuck yeah. This bloke, bro. <laughs> like, he's got no idea, you know. But yep. I mean, 
Mm. You know, there was a lot of people, oh, you lost me when you said oh, I'll tap your jaw. And it's like, you know what? If you've never experienced a loss like that, yeah, that's right. You don't understand. So relax your fucking breath too. You know, yeah, like, that's right. <laughs> I'll get on that side. Yeah, that's don't right. make me go there. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm all, it, like, I treat everyone, I try and treat everyone as nice as possible. You have to, man. Yeah. It's, uh, it's bizarre because I haven't, well, I haven't experienced none of the loss that you have, which is, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I do know people that have mm. experienced it and it's, yeah, I don't, I don't even want to fucking speak on that because I haven't been there. Yeah. I can't, no, bro, I can't no. explain that. No, it's, it's, it's one of those things. It's like, crazy people that have experienced a lot of loss are the people yeah. that give the most yeah. because you know what that is. You know yeah, what that feel, feeling yeah. is like and, and you don't want people to be there. And I think, I mean, for me, especially, like, I wouldn't say I've, like, I, I know heaps of boys, like, you know, some of my mates that have lost twice, tenfold more yep. than me. Yeah. But I think it's the way you perceive life. Like, my That's uncle's it. like my second dad. Yeah. You know, and when he when he died, I was like, fuck him, why? Like, yep. why do people fucking do that? And I was so just full of rage yeah, for so many years. Yeah. Yep. It's like, why did he fucking take his own life? I don't get it, you know. But yep. then I learned about, you know, he, he actually had a condition or a disease. I don't know what that... It's called body dysmorphic disorder. Yeah. So it's like, you know, he was like on a lot of psychotic medication. And yeah, okay. Just, you know feeding into that sort of energy and yep. you know it ended up for you know taking his you know taking his life at the end of the day um, I'll just do my part to fucking show people that 100%. there's help you know 100%. because you know if you your subconscious mind bro I'm telling you it's a fucking very powerful tool fuck yeah it is and you can get lost in it you know and especially when you're young too like that happened when I was 15 Fuck. and I've had I mean I've had a couple of mates die or a couple of you know acquaintances from school you know I got fr- you know but you know it's one of those things it's that's just, right yeah if anyone watching needs help at all you don't have anyone to reach out to you don't have anyone yeah. to reach out to you don't know how to reach out to anyone man send me a message send, send me a message Josh a message send to, just you know, contact Lifeline 100% if you have to there is you know, plenty of people out there willing, willing to help listen. And willing to listen, yeah, hundred percent. And I'm heavy on that too, you know. Hundred percent. Oh, I can't. After that happened, bro, I could never deny anyone of help. You know, like I've had a few people. Like I had this argument with someone, saying like, because she she'd been inboxing me and she was going through a bit Some of a traumatic stuff, yeah. experience. You know, like I think she was arguing and fighting physically with her partner and stuff. And I just said, never you know, like I really think it'd be a good idea for you to to seek professional help because yep. I, I'm not a fucking therapist, bro. That's right. At the end of the day, yep. you know, I can say whatever I think is correct but if I don't think I'm gonna and like she was blowing up on this post and I was like look I understand but I really think you need like to get to see proper help like, right. I'm a fucking dude off TikTok I'm a normal human that's being right. like I've been abused by past ex-partners I know yeah. how that feels I didn't get help I'm asking you to to take the initiative for your safety to help yourself to yeah. help yourself I can't do this like you yeah. live in another fucking state for one that's right. I don't know you for two yeah. and you know I can't what is my words going to do to help this situation? Like, exactly. I understand it is also very hard when you're in a situation where you may be getting... Yep. Um, you're in an abusive environment. That's right. Um, never a good, never and, a good thing. And it's hard to, like... Make that step. Make that step. Yep. But if you can make the step to me, and, you know, all you have to do is say, all right, I need help. That's right. Um, but can, look, can you get me that help? Yeah, that's right. So, you look, know? I can't do anything personally for you, yeah. but here's... But here, if you I reach can out, organise it for 100%. you. 100%. You know, and I tried doing that and it was just a, I don't know, it was just a big head fuck for me. Yep. And I was like, okay. So I've had a yeah. few of those, you know, but you know, oh, you said you'd help, but you haven't. Yeah. Like, but it's okay. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, that's right. you know, make a public announcement, like, and put you on. Just I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know? It's just, you end up creating more problems for that person than what know? it's, what it's actually. Yeah. Yeah. Not but, what it's worth, but... But, yeah, yeah, like, it just, just makes the situation, I think, more. a bit more tense in That's their right. environment. Like, That's it's right. not affecting me. If it's affecting them, and then I put it out, and then, you know, someone sees that, or they see that, it might not be the right thing. So, That's yeah, right. there there has been times where I've been like, look, I've given as much help as I can. Now I think it's time for you to take that to step to get, you know, seek that either, either get police involved or, like find someone you can talk to that's, right. that's close to you yep. you know that's physically there because I can't physically be there you know I've met people you know like especially with the, the how people ask to put their sticker like on a car like yeah. on a car yep. that, that became a big thing and then um, you know this there was this one video man it fucking made me I'm not even gonna lie it made me burst into tears this, this girl I've got the video 
and she um she said uh, can you put a sticker on for brain cancer because I'm currently battling brain cancer bro fuck and I was like I just like even before I did the fucking video I was like in tears I was like how has this become so crazy you know like this thing is blown up and people it's like some somehow it's giving people hope that it literally you know I've met a friend my friend Miley she's got me and it would hurt